Hey, good morning, Mr. Ross. This is Sean, Legendary Marine. I'm sitting up on the uh, Parker 2501. Just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough like we talked about, and uh, we'll go from there. Take a peek. Starting at the bow, you can see our nav navigation lights up front, pop-up stainless steel cleats. Uh, we do have the anchor locker here. I know you mentioned uh, the windlass. Um, I can talk to my guy and see if we can get a quote out for you on that. Um, under here, you have a small access hatch to that whole area, removable cushion. You can leave it home when it's time to fish. When you're doing the sandbars and restaurants, you can you know, have actually a surprising amount of seating on this boat. Um, forward console seat right here. Nice powder coated T-top uh, matching the outside color on the underside. I got the spreader lights on for you there so you can see them working. Under here on our gunnels, you can see we got the combing pads, rod storage. Just a clean, simple, good design in my opinion. On the transom here, we have a pretty cool little rod holder cleat combo right here. Cup holders as well. More combing pads behind. You can see I can comfortably sit here and fish either side of the boat. And then when it's time to run, just pull this up one hand. You got a fold out seat. I believe that's a raw water rush, uh, wash down. I'll double check if it's fresh water too. And uh, while I'm down here, here's your power panel. Um, we just have the fuse for the windlass. Um, you know, this is a universal panel they use. You can see that's actually empty. Um, but there's two battery switches. I believe there's a charger hookup on this one too as well. I'll double check that. Transom live well, good size. Of course, your twin 200 Yamahas. I believe it's only 115 hours on this, give or take. Big transom bracket there. Good sized fish box. Transom door to easily get in and out. Nice solid piece. Facing forward, you can see we have an additional live well underneath the leaning post. Extra rod holders here, more rod holders on the T-top. Uh, there's the antenna for your VHF. See that anchor light's working. We have spreader lights aft and speakers, fusion speakers that also light up, courtesy lights. Um, inside your electronics box here, you have the VHF radio. Working our way down, nice windshield, compass. Let me get in here for you. You can see total hours, 113 and 112 respectively. Fusion stereo, Bluetooth as well on that. You have a nice Garmin here. Make sure the sonar is picking up for you too. It's reading the temp. Obviously we're out of the water. It's gonna not read properly, but you can see it knows it's there. Um, Horn, navigation lights, cockpit lights, bilge pumps, wash down, both your bait wells. Linco trim tabs with the indicator switch, that's a nice option to have. There's your Yamaha controls. Push button start, which is pretty cool. Light up cup holders you can see as well. And what I mentioned earlier on the phone, you can see just a light, light amount of corrosion right here. Um, the horn's fine over there, and then also that same material over here on your spreader lights, just a small amount of corrosion, um, but you know, that's just typical what you see on, on some of these buttons. Um, but there's the inside for you. Um, I'll take a look outside, we'll do a full 360 around the boat, and then uh, maybe some profile shots. Stand by. Starting right here from the bow, you can see she's got a nice entry, sharp entry point. A little bit of a flare on there to help keep you dry. Um, like I told you, I did personally drive this boat and I enjoyed it. I was pretty impressed with the ride. Real small scratch here. Um, this is one of our lot trailers, by the way. It's completely oversized for this boat. Um, so there's that. <laughs> I'll
I'll quote out a new one for you. Um, over here on the swim platform, um, this just looks like from the dock, something like that. A couple of small scuffs. I wouldn't consider that major by any means. Uh, boarding ladder right here. Definitely nice to have. Big swim platform motor bracket. Come around, there's your two twin 200 Yamis. Underwater lights, trim tabs. You can see there's a light amount of paint off the skegs. Um, any boat in Florida is going to have that. I'm sure you're familiar. Um, back here on the swim platform, looks like we tapped a couple other, you know, tapped a couple docks. Um, we can maybe touch that up. By here looks pretty clean on the whole sides looks like really the only exterior damage is that uh, back there on that motor bracket even the keels pretty clean There's a nice profile of the outside. Again, Sean with Legendary. Thanks for checking out the boat. Let me know your thoughts.